So what is an eco village? Well, the new definition, let me see whether I can get it together so quickly. The new definition is that it's an, it's an intentional or traditional community um, which is consciously designed by its inhabitants, which basically means this, has, this is, is a concept that came out of working with traditional villages also and really seeing the difference between a normal traditional village and an eco-village is that the inhabitants really start realizing the preciousness of what they have and also wish to, in, to integrate some innovative technologies to make it more sustainable. So that is conscious design, conscious of what, what it is they have. And the next part is that it's locally owned. So the whole process is owned by the people living there. In order to regenerate social and natural environments, and this comes from, in the past we were speaking about long-term sustainability, but today we really feel that sustainability is no longer enough. We live in such impoverished social and ecological environments. So to refine the trust that we as human beings can actually, with our communities, can actually regenerate the social and natural fabric of life. And then the last part is in all four dimensions of sustainability. So it's a holistic process where we look at the social, the culture, economy, ecology, and all four of these are part of a, of a truly resilient community. Thank you. That was very good. And uh, what is your vision? Where should we go? Where should we go? Ah, well, I think in these, ti in these times what we need is a, an opening of awareness, a heightening of sensitivity, and an opening of heart. I think as human beings, we, the deepest wish we have, if we go deep enough, is to leave this planet a more beautiful place for our children and their children. And we don't know how to do it. But so we become harder and we just follow the roads that we feel we have to walk, we have to create money, but it never satisfies us. So to, to listen to that voice. And the other part of that is to really open up to the world, to understand that what is happening in Africa, what is happening in South America, what is happening in Alaska, what is happening in Asia is a part of me. And if people there are suffering, a part of me is suffering. So in Gen, we really, in the Global Eco Village Network, we really open a space for people to experience that through direct connections to each other and to see people from other continents who are giving their best in order to make life where they are more beautiful. So there is this, the opening of heart for what's happening in the world. I think we need that in order to, to take more um, informed decisions. And then as the civil society in the world is awakening and awakening and really understanding that we need something different. And the, at the moment we don't see political leadership really taking that on and bringing the answers, taking the political responsibility that is needed at this time. I think we need um, seduction of politicians into something new. Really, um, there are many politicians already that believe in the power of civil society. We need to work with those politicians. Mm. My last question is that uh, those people who you know have watched the movie so far and they get really interested, so what do you recommend for them to do? What would be the first steps? Ah, the first thing is to celebrate that you are now connected to a movement that is people walking their talk, people um, implementing solutions, not staying stuck in the problem, but getting together, dreaming their dreams, and then realizing dreams. And um, it's great to go online, look at the interactive map, see where are there projects that are close to me, eco-villages, permaculture projects, transition town initiatives, where can I connect, where can I go and visit? Maybe do a course like the village design education is brilliant. But also start building community where you are. Like, how is your neighbor today? The person in the grocery shop. 
ask them how they are, you know, with your friends. Start being more open in your communication, sharing your real dreams. So start exactly where you are and at the same time reach out and look where can you find real connection to the movement out there. Also, of course, we have the yearly European conference, the Ecovillage Conference of Europe, which is a wonderful place to come and connect and at the same time meet people from all over the world who showcase their projects here. That's a, a beautiful place of connection. And there's courses happening all over the globe. If you're interested and you're also interested in traveling, why not go and do an Ecovillage design education in Senegal or in Thailand or in South America and Brazil, you know? So many fascinating ways. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs>